Hi everybody and welcome to the flute practice. Today we're going to look at the good old-fashioned how to make your first sound on the flute. This is something, I think there's so many millions of approaches to teaching this, but we're going to look at my personal favorite approach and see how it goes. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, you unpack your good old flute and you just take the head joint, just the head joint. Uh, it's, you know, much easier to work with the head joint on its own. You put the whole flute together, you're already dealing with like how to hold this thing and it also is just much trickier to get a sound out. So I would really recommend spending some good time just your head joint. So the first thing we really want to look at is position of the flute. Now, the embouchure hole forms naturally in slightly different places on everyone's lips. So wherever it naturally forms, we're going to check that. Now, now, you, that's where your embouchure hole is. Don't try to like bring it to the middle or make it centered. Just let it do its natural thing. So to find out what your embouchure hole is doing, we're going to go, mm, so just, mm, so we're doing a mm and then a p, 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 p at the end. And look with it, with what happens with your lips. Mm, p, you know, mine's very boring, it's pretty much central. But maybe yours is a little bit off to the side, that's fine. Then you take the flute, the head joint, and you put it so that the middle of the turn hole is exactly in the middle of wherever your uh, embouchure or your aperture is what we call that little turn hole or the little hole that forms in your lips, your aperture. So find that spot. Now, <clears throat> what I like to do is I like to think a little bit like kissing or pouting, you're thinking or a little bit like Donald Duck lips, I said in another video, we just bring it over like this. So that the bottom lip kind of almost flops over the bottom of the lip plate there, just over there. So we want the bottom lip to kind of just cover like that. If you can see the back edge of that flute clearly like this, you're not covering enough. If you can hardly see this turn hole at all, you're covering too much. We want to cover about a third of the of the turn hole, so probably a bit like that, about a third. Okay, so part your lips, and now from here, so we're going to let this like bottom edge cushion kind of flop over there, and as you can see that clearly, and from here you're going to say, mm, and just into the flute, so get it there, and the idea is we just let the we just let the air open up the lips and don't let the air go straight over but chip down into the flute. I'm gonna show you this nice and close. Great. Play around with this. Uh, if the tone is not coming immediately, you might want to play around with the position on the lips. So you might want to lift up the flute slightly, you might want to put it down slightly, move it to the side, really making sure that you're dead center in the middle there. The mm is good because it just gets a little bit of stretch going here without, you know, too much and the gets your lips in the perfectly right position, which is why I just love this exercise. I'll say this again, I'm always very cautious of the kind of smiling face thing because it creates a lot of tension here. So the mm for me is just the perfect right amount of tension if you're starting out, just to get a little bit of pull and then nice and going. Once you've got the mm, you're starting to get the sound, you want to try and work on really holding that sound. Now, if you say on a long ha, so we're just going to go take a nice breath in and go, Ha! You can feel what your body automatically does. And that is that your stomach muscles kind of control that air releasing. They kind of stay out almost. They don't kind of just collapse. They stay out and they control like a, this balloon filled with air that you fill up with air and then you just slowly release that air like that. I will recommend that you go and look at my breathing videos or somebody else's breathing videos for that matter. It doesn't really matter, but go check out some breathing, nice breathing videos, uh, which is really great to just help you understand the breathing system. Okay. So now we're going to take that ha feeling and we're going to translate it over here. So we're going to do. Mm, 
So now we're really controlling the air here, but mostly from the support from your from your abdomen area, that ha feeling. And we're going to hold the note as long as we can. In the beginning, you might get dizzy doing this. It's just, you know, your body's getting more air and more oxygen than it's used to. So that's okay. Don't, don't stress. Just take it easy. Do it a little bit and then take a rest. Also, don't be frustrated if this takes some time. It's, it's really a question of taking quite a few kind of weeks and days and months or whatever it might be, just constantly finding that position, looking in a mirror, mirror is your best friend, work with it, looking in the mirror and finding the position, finding the center and going, mm, don't be shy to spend time with us and don't don't think it has to kind of happen overnight it just takes a bit of time all these muscles around here and here they're just learning what to do and it's a lot you know shave little guys it's a lot more work for them than you think so just take it easy give them a chance when you have become a pro at your mp and all other things and you can kind of comfortably make a sound we can start to play around with Just, you know, the finger in there. South Africa, we have this really wonderful national anthem, which I love because it's, you know, usually you can kind of play the whole thing. Well, not the whole thing. You can play like the opening of it just on A, B and G, which, you know, is really great for the little ones that don't know. You know, many of the kind of Western culture songs that are in so many of these tutor books. So national anthem is really great because they know it really well. So. For those of you who don't know the anthem, I'm guessing you're going to go like YouTube or Google it now. If you're not going to, then do go Google it. It's a really beautiful anthem. Oh, proud, proud song, I forget. Okay, guys, that was just a quick little how to get started. Send me some questions, send me comments, send me, you know, queries. Let me know how it's going. And I will hopefully be posting another approach soon. So good luck and happy practicing.